these lab sessions are intended for candidates of the Maximo Manage version 9 Functional Deployment Professional Certification to gain exam-specific hands-on experience. They contain nine lab exercises split into two sessions, covering some aspects of the exam objectives. It's a good place to brush up your skills and gain some targeted knowledge before attempting the exam. It does not cover topics on all questions that may arise in the exam, but it should give students focused knowledge to help them understand and answer questions which might come up. In this short introductory session, we'll be looking at the details of the exam and the areas of competency that it covers. We'll discuss the format of the questions and assessment criteria, as well as providing references and links to supporting documentation and useful learning resources. We'll take a look at the different certifications available for IBM Maximo version 8 and 9 and discuss how best to approach the lab exercises in these sessions so you can get the most out of them. The C10183 exam is the only requirement to gain the IBM Certified Maximo Manage version 9 Functional Deployment Professional Accreditation. It's intended to assess expert level competency in Maximo Application Suite Manage for those candidates implementing the solution or technically involved in its configuration and customization. It replaces the Maximo Manage version 8 certification and contains assessment of both core Maximo Manage functionality and implementation topics like database configuration and domains. The exam itself consists of 61 questions on two different papers, A and B. Most questions are single answer some you'll be asked to select two or three correct answers. You will be randomly assigned one of these two exam papers when you take the exam. If you were to fail the first time, you could then retake and would be assigned the other paper. The pass mark for this exam is currently 41 out of 61, or 68%, although this can be reviewed at any time, so check out the exam page when you take the exam in Pearson View. There is a free sample paper and a full assessment exam for a small charge available for you to test your knowledge. Questions from these trial papers do not appear in the actual exam. This exam was developed on Maximum Manage version 9.0, so please remember subsequent product changes are not reflected in the questions and answers, and some now superseded functions may be included. The labs in this course will contain notes to help you identify some areas to remember. If you've already gained the Maximum Manage version 8 Functional Deployment Professional Certification, you'll find some new topics such as Maximo Scheduler and the new role-based applications like issues and transfers. If you take a look at the exam objectives, you'll see they are broken up into nine sections. Next to each section, you can see the percentage of questions you'll find on that topic in the exam paper. For example, work management carries a 16% weighting, so you'll find around 10 questions in each exam paper on that topic. Each of these sections are covered in the lab exercises across the two sessions. The first section, Maximo Application Suite Overview, does not have any hands-on steps, but some pointers to mass content worth reading and some specific points to remember. If you get a chance, it's worth taking the free Introduction to Mass, Mass Manage Introduction Training, and also the free Functional Administration and User Management courses on IBM Training. These will give you a great overview of the suite and capabilities of the Mass applications. It's recommended that a candidate has several months hands-on experience on the Maximo solution in order to gain the knowledge needed to pass this expert level certification exam. It's worth having access to a non-production instance of Maximo Manage in order to explore features, functionality and configuration options. During these labs, you'll have access to your own dedicated Mass Manage version 9 Red Hat OpenShift environment to complete the exercises and explore additional areas if you wish. As already mentioned, there are sample questions and an assessment exam available to further evaluate your readiness to take the real exam. In addition to your existing experience and these lab exercises, it's definitely worth checking out the other resources listed here to gain deeper understanding of both functional capabilities of the Maximo Managed Solution and other implementation considerations.
The assessment exam for this certification is available currently for around a $36 US charge. It's a great way to evaluate your readiness to take the exam. This is available on the Pearson View website and will provide you with a report showing you how you did in each of the assessed sections. In addition to this certification, there are also three other Maximo Application Suite version 8 certifications available for implementers, administrators, and on the visual inspection solution. The older Maximo 7.6 certifications have now been retired. Each lab exercises included here is specific to one of the exam objective sections. As a rough guide, session one labs will take between one and a half and two hours, and session two labs take in the region of two hours. It's worth taking your time here and perhaps breaking your exercises into multiple sessions to get the best from the learning opportunity. It's worth paying particular attention to the note sections throughout the lab exercises. Many of them relate to specific exam knowledge worth remembering. It's also important to note that the lab guide contains the exercises for both session one and session two, should you prefer to practice the topics in the other session or a mixture of both time permitting. I've added the links mentioned in this presentation to the description of this video in YouTube to enable you to copy them.